everyone Hello. welcome back to our channel we just got back from a little holiday for bella's birthday mm -hmm. bella turned five and thank you everyone who sent her birthday wishes um she had the best time ever it was just fun yeah it was i wouldn't say relaxing because we did quite a lot of <laughs> yeah we did quite a lot of stuff like, like we didn't really just like laze around mm -mm. um but it was, but it was to... nice to be out and about in a different environment mm -hmm. um I so we take like one trip a year where we go and stay in like a caravan and just hang out and that's what we did for Bella's birthday this year but in years previous this is like when I get my stitching done so I kind of expected that this year but I was like I knew it would be a little bit less with Bella's birthday I did like barely any you did more than me I did do more than you but that's because you didn't take any you couldn't have done any yeah my bags were Rai packed like one bag and I packed like 70, so he didn't have space for anything else. That's a good job um, I did only pack the one bag, because my car was full. Full. Um, yeah, I'll show you a little bit of what I did. Um, we did film a video before we went away that I didn't put out because I didn't edit it before we didn't have internet. Mm. Um, but I'm not going to put that one out because, you know, it's two weeks behind now, so we might as well just film what I filmed then, now. Yeah. And yeah. Well, there's a couple new bits, isn't there? I've got a couple of new things, one of which is something I found on holiday, so I'm excited mm. for that. Because, I mean, you already had, like, you did some stitching, so you might as well update on that now as well. And then... What did I stitch on in the last video? I don't remember. The one we ago. filmed and didn't... I don't remember either. Sure. It wasn't the stitch with me, was it? Yes, it was. Oh. Was that where I started a new project? I started yes. a new project. I've started two new projects. Technically, I've started three new projects since we've last seen each other. However, one of them is like a, mm, I'm not convinced on it, so I put like five stitches in and then didn't touch it yeah, again, so I'm not there. counting that. I was like, before we went, I was like, I'm not going to stitch on this, I'm going to like give this chart away, and then I was like, oh, I really like that one, so I was like, right, okay, I'll keep it, and if I stitch on it, brilliant. Mm. And then when we were going on holiday, I was like, I need to stitch this project right now. So it's a good thing you kept it. So it is a good thing I kept it, and then I got it out and started stitching it on holiday, put about five, ten stitches in and was like... Yeah, no. This is a lot of stitching for a piece I'm not as in love with as I once was. Mm. I think it would look really good when it was done, but, but I don't know that I can... it's the process of getting it done, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a lot of block... It's um, the shawls of Hawker and Hollow, so it's a lot of stitching. I really want to get my Halloween one done. I feel motivated again with that one, but I'm not going to show you that because there's literally like five stitches in it, so <laughs> it's not worth it. Mm. But I do have a lot of other things, so should we start with the new buys? Yeah, just get straight in. Okay. So, first of all, I'll show you my charity shop find. Um, that charity shop was amazing. next level. So, <coughs> I got this. It's a Just Nan pattern. It's Peacock Majesty. And... Yeah, I've literally... Sorry. You, no, you can't. I'm just saying. I've not looked at it yet. I did look it up in the shop because they had like... Like a, a good little ones. selection for a charity shop, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. They had like quite a few, and I was like, oh, they're so cool. And I, so I was looking at them, oh, it's a little box lid that you can do as well. That's cute. Um, so I was like, oh, like, I'm going to have a look. Mm. Um, I didn't like any of the others really, but this one was cute, and it was only 50p, so I was like, you know, helping charity, oh, and I get a cross stitch pattern. So that's one. Also, just on the subject of where we were. They had an excellent second-hand bookshop there. Not even the second-hand bookshop. That shop, charity shop that I got that from was also selling um, books. Mm. And I got a ton of books that I really wanted. I got that pattern. I got like four or five books where I got a game. No, I got a Star Wars DVD, not realising it was like part two of however many. So I was a bit like, ah. Oh. Uh, and Bella bought a toy that was like two pounds because mm. it was like a collectible toy. It came to like six pounds, so I was buzzing with that. Mm. It was over the moon. Over the holiday, I didn't take stitching, but I, as I've mentioned before, like to read, and I got a lot of reading done that holiday. Mm -hmm. I say a lot. It's probably not a lot to some people, but started three books, finished two of them when we were there. I'm like nearly finished the third one now, which I got from that um, second hand bookstore. What a great it was selection. A good bookshop. I got a couple of books in there, but they that one was a lot more expensive. A lot more expensive. I still got two books for like ten pounds. It's not that bad. I got but two for twelve fifty. 
they're like vintage books mm. in there. I got some nice ones. Um, but yeah, it was a good little trip. It was very cool. Um, next new buy, I will show you this first. This is, okay, I'm just going to show you the back side of it because I did start a pattern on it. Um, this is a chromatic alchemy piece. It's 32 count. It is opalescent, but you can't really see on the camera, um, which means it's just like glittery. Mm. Um, yeah, this is just the fabric of the month from whatever month it was. I forget to show them because they come and then we film after they, like days after they yeah, come, so I put them away. Them, <laughs> yeah. And then these three, there is three coffee craft fabrics in here. I don't know what people are thinking, oh, you can buy more coffee craft. No, I'm in a coffee sevens club. So every however often you get sent three pieces mm. of fabric. And I got an email and it was like, um, oh, which counts do you want? Like, what do you want? any i think she, it was a like colorful neutral or like what counts and i basically said anything i like 40 40 count even weave is my favorite mm. but i will also do anywhere from 40 46 56 is it 46 it is isn't it okay. 40 46 56 um don't mind anything you know whatever so i got some really cool ones they're very <laughs> like nautical looking i think they are aren't they like a stormy sea day so do you want to open that one and i'll open yeah. this one and then there's one more I'll try and do it quickly so it's not doing you now on camera so this one is a 40 count even weave and it's a pale blue really pretty i do have one similar to this so i might use this for something i am going to use this for something i'm going to start something new this afternoon because I put my instagram story some of you will remember exactly the piece I'm talking about and why and everything. Um, so for our friends, our friend went to uni basically and I was going to stitch them the chopping mall cell because I'm a really big horror movie fan. That was three years ago. They got their results back from their like final dissertation mm -hmm. today. Yeah. And, you're and like, I've done oh my nothing. Goodness. So I need to get it done and I'm going to see them... At the end of this month, beginning, middle of August, like type. mid beginning to middle of August and middle to end of September. Middle to end of September. So I need to get it done before one of those. In fairness, we had already bought them a present. Yeah, yeah, they've not got nothing, but yeah. it was just the fact that I three years ago was like, this is the goal. I've got plenty of time. Have I been making no. floss shoes for that long? No, I think. Hold on, I we'll have to check now. You filibuster sec while I look I think at this. I've been making floss tubes. Oh no, they just finished their first year. So two years, that makes sense. They just finished their first year and we were talking to them about it because there was one point where I was like, should I go to uni? Because <laughs> all my friends went like after college, I didn't go. And then I was like, should I go to uni? And I was kind of thinking about it for a while. Ended up going no because I had like a decent job. Um, first video was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. So that makes sense. Um, it'll be three year anniversary this December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three year anniversary and look at how much the world map has come on. Um, I need to, so, okay. I'm okay. trying to find the... I need to get this project done. I want to get some progress in on the world map. A lot of progress in by the end of the year. And, I've missed my finger then. And I want to finish at least one Gecko Rouge. Because I cannot call myself a Gecko Rouge fan and have one, fin two finished, three finished pieces, but two of them aren't full coverage. Yeah. I've done the bee, the little uh, bee with the rainbow wings. Mm -hmm. I've done the unicorn, the Lana Lane unicorn, mm -hmm. and I've done Piccadilly Circus. Yes, you have. But I need to get more done because that is not good enough, in my opinion, for me personally. You know, stitch at your own so pace. You but keep adding the, no, I just don't want anyone else to think that I'm critiquing anyone else's stitching because I'm not. It's just. I have With the so amount many. of Gecko Rouge kits you have. And yeah, they need to be done. So that they are like no longer in my whip pile. I did. So if you if you are watching this, one of the people I don't think watches us, the other person watches sometimes, I think. Um, I had to send two parcels out before we went on this holiday. Guess how much they cost me? 40 pounds. 40 great British pounds to post two parcels. And like, you know, I didn't, I was just like, yeah, okay, they need post. And these people, deserve what they're getting like but, in the mail yeah, so i didn't caught you off guard i was just like <gasps> the lady I'm... was like 
Oh, it'll be like it, it was, less than ten pounds. Yeah, the, no, no, no. The one went, oh, it'll be four pounds, and I was like, oh, nice. And then she went, oh, they're going abroad. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit more then. So then I had to tell her everything that was in both of the parcels and give her like a price of how much. Yeah. It, and I was like, I don't know, like this amount. I don't know. Um, and she was like, yeah, the first one will be like twenty two pounds, and the second one will be like twenty. And I was like, oh, goodness. Okay. So. That happened and I was a bit like, oh. so future giveaways, unless the item is small, I probably will limit it to the UK just because I'm like, ah, that was traumatic. But that was we'll a see. lot of money in one day, wasn't it? Traumatic's very traumatic. It wasn't that bad, but afterwards I was like, oh. You had the you had the spendy the spendy woozies. Yeah, yeah, where you're like, like, oh, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have spent that, but it's fine. Oh, I've been there. Um, what else have we been up to? Oh, what was I talking about? You were talking about these and you got completely sidetracked. Oh, sorry. So, my goals, basically, I want to hit 10% on world map. That is unrealistic at this, this year. point. This year? Yes, this year, by, by December 31st. However... What is it now? However... 9th of June. That gives me six months to... A lot of stitches? Uh, like 100,000, isn't it? 180,000, and I've done like... I want to say I've done like 30. So 150,000 in six months. So break that down. Divided by six. 25,000 a month. So that's what? Say average. Do you know what I call that? Average is about Double. 30. So do 25,000 divided by 30. 833 stitches a day. Easy. When you say it like that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it'll get done. However, in practice. No. Don't know. Um, it's just because it's such a big piece. And getting everything out for it. If we can bring my Lowry stand upstairs, or we make sure we have blankets down here, then I'll be fine. We just need to set you up down here, really, yeah. don't we? Yeah, yeah. Just Actually, move no, me downstairs. The couch is like awkward for the Lowry stand, isn't it? Yeah, the cou our couch is a little bit too tall for a Lowry stand, so it's really like uncomfortable to sit with it. But it's I'd rather that than have to hold the giant frame. So mm. you know. Yeah, we were talking about maybe getting a new couch. So if we get a new couch, I'm definitely... <laughs> Should I just take my Lowry to the couch <coughs> shop? Yeah, and like measure and it up it out? Because it's important. I want to be comfy while I stitch. And... Well, the thing is, though, if we like make you a stitching corner upstairs, the couch isn't going to be a factor then, because you can have That's your Lowry true. upstairs. And you'll get a comfy chair. Stitch and crevice. Mm. Get you, like, one we, of we're thinking chairs. about moving like all the rooms around. Not like swapping... Oh, this bedroom is now this bed, but like moving the room around. Yeah, we're doing some itself. renovation. Yeah. Basically. So, yeah, I, I want to have a nice stitching area. I would like a green wall. Okay, we can have green in the bedroom. Nice. I'd say down here, but I don't know what we're going to do down here. I'd rather just have a green wall in our room. Anyway. Anyway. This is no a 56 count linen. It's a little bit darker than this blue. That looks quite a bit darker in real life, doesn't it? On camera, the difference was like... Mm. Yeah. And then this is a 40 count linen. Really pretty. It's like this grey. On the back, there's like more of a variegation. Mm. You can see. Looks like a stormy sea, Stormed. doesn't it? Also, okay. Sorry, I just feel like I have a thousand questions. I feel like I've not spoken to people about stitching in so long. You haven't really. Have um, you? I haven't. When you see... Like, if you see this at this point in the video, please can you leave me a comment? Who, like, designs your favourite Wizard of Oz piece? Because I'm torn between a couple, and I feel like loads of people will have them, but I don't know about them. So, I basically, Bella is obsessed with the Wizard of Oz. She's really, like... Next level obsessed. Yeah. And we bought, I, that's one of the books I bought in the charity shop, was a Wizard of Oz book. Um, so I was going to stitch her a Wizard of Oz piece, but I don't know which one to do. So, let me know which... Mm. is the best well at least your favorite you know it's yeah, so it's all, one is the best but it's all like opinion isn't it really i quite like the owl forest embroidery one is that the one someone was doing at alice in wonderland yes yeah so, so that seeing that is like that's really cool i want to do that but mm. the one that actually bella really likes alice in wonderland so we could do the Alice one but she likes it. wizard of oz wizard more, of oz more. so i was thinking about that because 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 um, should we get into whips then? Yeah, go for it. So, on holiday, I did not start this, I started this last night. Um, we had a little movie night and I started a new project and coincidentally it's for a small child who just turned five. Um, 
it's on my new fabric you, you can't see it at all but you will when it's done yeah uh, trust the process yeah it's because of the light and we just need better lighting i think there we go you can see that yeah I like uh, it's lights. a sprouting lupine i think that's how you say it pattern um and it's got a unicorn in it and everything it's really ah. cute bella's favorite so she loves unicorns so. and yellow and yellow so that's why i did it on the yellow fabric um that's why the colors the greens are a little bit iffy like whether you can see them or not she'll love it it's so i'm not too worried mm. you know next up on holiday i did Do some stitching up? oh i've just realized there is another thing that i don't have what could you go upstairs and could you grab me the mushroom um kind of little fox the one with the multiple pages in whereabouts would it be on the bed or my stitching bag so next up is this piece oh turning it around the wrong way this is the holiday the large version of it uh it's a dorian spencer davies piece um gaffer rouge kit uh, the bottom line on the border, ignore that, that is off by 10 stitches. It's like 10 too low, so I just need to frog that and redo it. But the sides and the top are all right, and I was just filling in some of this bit up here. And I just, I like this piece. I'm not in a rush with it, but I love Dorian Spencer Davies and I love the holiday. So, and obviously I'm feeling very Christmassy. Um, I don't know what hospice this is from. Um, I found it on Vinted and it was really cool. So... Oh, also guys, I start a new thing on Wednesday. I'm very excited. Um, I am volunteering at a new hospice. It's not a new hospice, it's a new to new me to hospice. New to you hospice. Um, I'm very excited. I really like volunteering. Ooh. I'm like, I hospices. really like... Uh, hospices are a sad place, so it's sad to say that. Like, that's not, I, I don't mean to say, oh, I really like hospices, but like... No, you like the... I message. like feeling like I yeah. have an input Impact. into the wider thing. And if I can help them, that's like what I want to do. A bonus. I just, I, I really, I didn't realise how different these, oh no, they're not that different. Here's all my different grey fabrics for the, um, the houses. Fabulous House series. Now, do we think I have them all together? I do not think so. I am also not I have that. one, three, two, six. and six. So that's four and Hang five. Hang on, one, two, three four that tracks i think the other ones are upstairs i vaguely remember putting them away the other day because i did like a big tidy up before we came away and tidied all my stitch and stuff where's the one they? that i've started it's not gonna be upstairs in a project bag is it likely no it would be in here right so i have four pieces of fabric well that one's got a needle oh, in it there's the one i've started Yay. Four pieces of fabric and four charts. Don't know where the other two are, but they are here somewhere. Uh, They're in the house. This was the new one. The tree house. I love this one. So cute. I did bring it on holiday because I was going to stitch on it, but I didn't get a chance. By which I mean I stitched on something else instead, which is fine. Um, but I just love these. They're so cute. So I've got the tree house, the Santa house, the green house, and the castle. And yeah, they're dead cute. I love them. They're very cute. I need to put them away properly in this folder. That can be your task, but I couldn't have. Could be. Probably won't be. Probably won't be. Probably be stitching on either the present for someone or my world map. Probably the present for someone. Do you have that on hand or do I have to go dig in for it? I'm going to just grab it from there. Alright. And finally... Ta-da! I decided I needed another new start because I have not had enough of those in the last two years. So it's not really a new, it's not really a new start, but it kind of is. Uh, it's the last snowman in the Snowman Collector series. I'll hide again. This one and the one next to it, which is the witch, are my two favourites because I really love the turkey in this last one and i really really love the way the witch looks with the pumpkin mm. it's so cute so i'm happy with how this turned out i did this in the space of like two days so that's not too bad considering it wasn't like a full stitching day i've not had a full stitching day in, in ages. a minute ages that's if i could have like one day to myself that's what i would do should we book you a hotel just for one day just on your own yeah no i would miss you guys 
You can like FaceTime us. I need to decide what I'm taking to the big stitch because I know it seems like it's quite far away, but it, it'll come up fast. Well, look how quickly three years came up. I know. Two years. I started at the end of the first year. Okay. <laughs> I'm just losing a year. Oh, I need to finish. I need to finish the world map in the mm. next few years. That can't be like a lifetime project. I have faith in you. Let's let's aim for ten percent by the end of the year. Let's aim for that. Because I've already been doing it. F that was my first video, so I started it three years ago in December. So if we aim for ten percent, that's when it was uploaded. So that's yeah. I think I started on the sixth. So sixth of December is the anniversary. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out if I get ten percent done in three years. I'll get 100% done in 30. Does that make sense? But if I manage yes. to start like a habit of picking it up and stitching on it every day, then it won't take 30 because I'll be doing it at a rate of 833 stitches a day. So, so that's... if I do 1,800,000, it's got like some other stitch. I'm gonna put 800 at the end. I think that's what it is. Yeah, why not? Nope, that was too many. 1,800,800 stitches. It's something like that. It's like a random number. Okay, and then take away, say I've done 30,000. I think I've done more than that, but take away 30,000. That's 17,970,000. No, 17 million. No. Something's gone what have I very done? wrong here. Yeah. Right. 17 one eight, million there. 1830800. That's one point. That's it. One million eight hundred thirty thousand eight hundred. Yes. Okay. Take away thirty thousand. You've not taken that away. That's the exact same number. No, it's not. I, it, in my head, it's. It, I know the stitches is one eight three eight zero zero. Right. One eight three zero eight zero zero. So take the thirty thousand off, and it's one million eight hundred thousand eight hundred stitches. I got it wrong when I started saying it earlier. I did say this number earlier, but I was missing right. the thing. I'm so right. confused. So I've got 1.8 million stitches left. And if I get into a habit of doing that every day, mm -hmm. 833 stitches every day, that'll mm -hmm. get me to 10% by the end of the year. So if I get into a habit of doing that, it will. F I will finish it in 2,161 days. So if you divide that by 365, that's six years. Just under. Yeah, 5.9228. Yeah. So, six years. There you go, you were saying 30 years just now. My tummy just grumbled. Your tummy was nervous at the it's prospect. Like, oh no. What's she going to do to us? I think I just need to stop saying this is what I'm going to do and, and just, just do, do it. it. Because I get I get into it and do it for a few days and then I'm like, oh my goodness, you this get is never going to get finished. And then I put it down and then I... Just don't pick it up again because I'm scared. So I just need to do it. I get that. If you're watching this video six years from now, like if you stumble across this video in six years time and I haven't finished, please tell me off. What's your message for Jess in six years time? You better finish the world map because I won't be impressed if you're still on 3%. No. What am I on? I'm on 1? 2? 2%? Right Not sure. 1%? Hang on, when did I last post about this? Basically, six years time, you're saying to yourself, get it done. Essentially. I'm over 2%. 2.05 last time I posted on Instagram. Probably a little bit higher than that now. Let's just get it done. Just get it done, and then it's one less thing to worry about, and then you get a really cool stitched piece. What would you say to yourself in six years? Tell Jess to get a stitching done. <laughs> Are we still cool? That's a, no, I'm not no. cool now. Oh. What about me and future me? Are me and the cool? Me and he? If you want to be cool. Oh, that doesn't feel like a good answer. <laughs> I like to think we're cool, but I know we're not. I think we're cool in certain, like, circles. circles yeah. Mm. Not many, though. <laughs> not a lot of them all build up either. Bella thinks we're cool, so that's the main thing. Yeah, for now. And that's all the stitching I did on holiday. So yeah. Woo!
Do you have any? I'm just thinking about the world map now, sorry. Every video I feel like I finish by saying, I'm going to go stitch on the world map, and then and I then don't. don't. This time I'm not saying that. I'm going to say I'm going to start on... Something. Finishing. When I say I'm going to start on finishing, I mean I'm going to do like... Some. Some. <laughs> stitches on chopping more. Hmm? Although I can see the world map. Don't look. No, I won't look. Because I need your to eyes. get chopping more finished. Yeah. Do we have a word? Mm. This week? Santa. Santa? Because I... I caught me off guard. Oh, I like pumpkins too. I've been feeling really like autumnal vibes because normally when we go on this like little week away it's, it's like usually in September, September is it? and now I'm like I want it to be autumn and like wow. Halloween and all the festive drinks and everything like Tell you what, next week's video should we dress autumnal? Can do. That work for you. Mm -hmm. Scratch an autumnal itch. Mm -hmm. We can get you dressed as the great pumpkin again. <laughs> I, did I film like that last year? I, I think, think I, I don't did. know if it was last year. There's definitely a video circulating it was dressed as a pumpkin. 2022. It would have been 2022. That's when I had yeah. the outfit. So, yeah, I was... You went to work as that as well, didn't you? I did. It, we dressed up at work and... Who's we? Was it just you? No, everyone apart from my manager. You know the manager at... Um, I'm going to say hospice. yes. Yeah. She went as Wednesday Adams. Ah, oh, right, fair enough. Because that's what I was going to do, and then she said she was going as that, and I was like, oh, I can't Oh, I need to be a pumpkin now. now. Obviously, the next choice was a pumpkin. The next logical step. This was at a point when I had my hair split dyed ginger and um, dark brown. Yeah. And I went, it actually wasn't ginger, it was bright orange, and I went over the road because we were in like an office building next to the main building, and I went over the road to collect something, and the receptionist was like, oh, you're committed, you died you have for Halloween, and I just turned around and I was like, no, this is just this what is I look like. Look. <laughs> you have had some cool hairstyles while we've been together, some cool hair colours. I was looking at old pictures earlier, um, and I'm like, oh my goodness, look how different I looked like six years ago, mm. and look how different I looked... How old's Bella? Five. five. Look how different I looked five years ago and four years ago. Four years ago is like the biggest difference from then to now, I think. I think me was when we first got together and I couldn't you even grow like... You look like a baby. I couldn't grow a little scruff or anything. Yeah, you look like a baby. And I was I was thinner back then and I was... Me too. I was just like cutting about like a little, little boy. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah, I was 18 but I did not look it. No. And now I feel like I've. You did. I feel like I've surpassed twenty-four, even though I am. I've hit like the hard side of. You look older than. I do look older. I don't know how old I look in relation to my age. I'm twenty-three. I think you look twenty-three. I don't I, feel like I do. I meet people at retreats, and I have, I like, just have this thing where I have a really hard time knowing how old people are anyway. But I'm like, last retreat we were talking to the Stitchy Ferret, um, and she was telling us, she had something about her age, and I was like. I thought you were our age. Like I'm, I'm have a really bad time when it's a hobby with people that I like, thinking I'm a different age to other people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I just think everyone at retreat is our age, regardless. It was similar with um, the jobs I worked before the one I'm in now. Like yeah. any of them. Yeah, my old I was old friends manager. with like any number of co-workers who were all various ages, and I was like, I literally don't. My old manager was ten years older than me, and I. Like in my head, we're like besties, same age. Yeah, my best friend at my telecoms job, I was like, oh, best was, friends. Yeah, besties, road friends. <laughs> there was like twenty years between us. Nin really? Dead on nineteen, because we shared the same birthday. And it all came crashing down when I turned twenty-one there, and like he would, I think I was like, I was only like two or something when you celebrated this milestone. Hmm. Mm. Anyway. I think. We yeah. sidetracked. By this time next week, you'll see some progress on the chopping mall. Maybe not anything else, to be honest, because I just want to get it done. Yeah, you need to, like... I think you need to get your haunted house out. I do. I'm daunted by it, though. No. All right. Not an excuse. Get it All right. out. All right. It is. It's a perfectly valid excuse. No. Later this week, if you're not working one of the days this week, we'll come down. You can um, get it out on the Lowry. Okay. So you've got that to hold everything. 
and we're going to do some stitching. I'd still like and to if you are working every day this week, then we'll do it some other day. I'd still like to feel like I'm allowed to be daunted by it, though. What are you taking to the big stitch? Are you going to take that or not? Goodness. I think that might be a bit no. big. That might be a bit too big. I know I take my world map, but that's because I fold everything down, and because of the fabric, it's really soft. It folds down really small. Your fabric's quite hard. Yeah, it's really hard to stitch because it's a... Yeah, I mean, I've got it's, nowhere to put it. It's, I want to say starchy. Does that uh, make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. We'll find something for you. We'll find something. I'll probably take that shit again. We're only going for one day, which I'm a little bit sad about, but also, like, we don't even have a hotel book, so we need to sort that out. We're gonna have to renovate the car and turn it into, like, a camper. That would be cool, though. I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad about that. Or we just do it in a day. Drive there. Oh, goodness. Drive, like, two and a bit hours away. Do the day, and then drive two and a bit hours back. I'll get insured on your car. We'll just do it in a one. I was gonna say, I don't mind driving there and stitching but then when i've been concentrating for that long and i'm like i don't want to drive two hours back yeah i get really bad headaches after i've been at like a stitching event on the first day mm. i think it's because i don't sleep the night before because i'm like excited for the next day and like a bit nervous yeah because when i don't know what to expect at the big stitch because the, it seems massive the times we've driven there like you've been a bit like oh, um a bit nervous it's always the drive there and then the morning of when we're like going, I don't feel nervous. I'm just like, yeah, let's just go and get a seat. Yeah. This year, we were like five minutes late. Not not late. We were five minutes after it officially started. And loads of the seats had gone. Mm. First year we went, we were like uh, five I minutes think, early. We were the first ones there. Early. So it feels a lot like happens fast. in that time. The, f the very first year we went, sorry, it was at a different hotel and we were like two hours late and we got like... We were only late though because we had to leave the same morning. Yeah, like like that's why I don't want to do that for the big stitch, really. We didn't um, travel the night before, which no. we've done every we, time yeah, since Yeah, we then. learned our lessons. <laughs> it's a <laughs> smarter idea. And At then least we got to sit next to each other retreats. on the first one. Yeah, I know. We don't have any retreats booked after that. I'm sure we'll be... I do November <clears throat> next year. I might email Sammy at some point. What, 25? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. No, we can't do November next year. Uh, depends when it lines up. Yeah. We'll see. We might be able to. Um, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, what's what's word? Santa. Pumpkin as well. And pumpkin. Either or, um, I think, or both. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Bye.